one of the phases of fully moving in to heart-centered living is that you live your bold authenticity and that's going to look different for everybody and so for many divine feminines that have been doing the work that have gone through the initial stages of the heart awakening which i've spoken about in previous uh, recordings there comes a point on this journey where there is nothing left to do but surrender to the divine god essence within you and that is really ultimately your only choice and as you do this, you're being guided uh, to move into uncharted territories. So any, tr any trying to figure out your next move through the analytical mind is being blocked right now. And also your old ways of being and your old ways of existing are being blocked right now. If you've been attached to a certain identity or um, a certain way of being or expressing in the world, or maybe it's... Um, maybe you are, you know, just attached to a certain job or a certain relationship or whatever. It's going to look different for everybody, but there's a lot of, uh, what appears to be stagnancy coming up where it feels like things are not working out and things are falling away. And no matter how much you effort, it actually just kind of just digs a hole for you even more right like you can feel the resistance because you can no longer really go back to trying to effort your way forward using your your mind you're too you're too open you're too free at this point you're you're too in alignment with the soul energy divine essence that is animating your being that it demands bold authenticity on your part and this doesn't mean that it has to be crazy decisions that need to be made, but it, they will require that you get out of your comfort zone. But most importantly, it's going to be required that you get comfortable with not knowing. Your divine path, your most authentic al alignment for you, your most authentic timeline is not something that you're going to be able to figure out. You can't you can't effort your way there, you can't figure it out, you can't logically assess to get there, you can't rely on old patterns of um, muscling your way through things or being really resilient or being really resourceful or figuring things out or whatever. There's only one option at this point and this is to surrender to the God essence that is you, to the divine, to the infinite creator, to God, whatever label you want to put on it. Your time has come. You are rising. You are, when I say rising, rising up from the ashes of your old self and you literally are saying goodbye to a whole previous way of existing and being. And anything that is constricting to you is unbearable. And so you're finding yourself at a crossroads right now where you know the old way is gone. That, that bridge is burned. Like you're not going back to your old way. It, the conviction from within, the inner conviction to live in alignment with your authenticity, your ex soul expression, your highest, most free, most loving, most at peace, most joyful, most creative, most in the flow, most fun, most, uh, most at peace. This is unwavering within you. And your soul, the divine essence within you, has got you. And you're being asked right now to fully trust and surrender to what your divine path is and allow it to unfold. And enjoy the unfolding. And get really, really comfortable 
with being in the unknown and not knowing what the next moment will bring or what the next day will bring and get really, really comfortable with the fact that when something falls away that you used to rely on to give you some form of identity or some form of false sense of safety or security or approval or validation, that you know that's just God's work at play in your life, stripping away another layer of illusion and allowing you to move more into your authentic truth and your highest expression and timeline in this lifetime and get so comfortable with this in-between stage because this is where so many divine feminines find themselves this in-between stage you know there's no going back it's time to surrender fully you can't half-ass this surrendering it doesn't work like that you can't half-ass your surrendering say you surrender allow yourself to be to be inspired and moved from within and follow your curiosity and release and let go of all of the you know expectations that you had for your life like you can't fake that right it's all things are being shaken right and some things are falling away some things are kind of in a pause but nonetheless it's going to look different for everybody but there's a lot of uncertainty and guess what you didn't come here for certainty. You came here for adventure. If you're resonating with this, you came here for adventure. You came here to live your most wild and free expression. You didn't come for certainty and to play small and hide in some false sense of security that has been handed down to you from society and what other people's expectations for you have been up to this point. You have a calling on your heart, whatever that is, and by you aligning with that calling, you contribute to humanity in the highest possible way. It's always in the highest and greatest good for all involved and if you have a sincere intention on your heart that you know you're here for truth above all else you're here for freedom above all else and you're willing to allow the divine to restructure your life however it needs to be restructured in order to bring you into alignment with your happiest most joyful most fun most free expression divine expression your highest creativity your greatest peace your deepest wisdom your most you know profound joy your your most authentic this is deeper than your egoic desires this is deeper than what you think you think looks good on paper this is deeper than what you've been attached to as far as what you're currently living or what you thought you needed to have in the future in order to check off some boxes and say you've arrived at some kind of destination that society would deem to say okay now you're successful because you you've acquired this 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 and this your version of success whatever that is for you soul aligned success is always what I I call it soul aligned success is you coming into alignment with the divine essence within you and being able to live from that place that's it it's very simple but it's not simple to the egoic mind and that loves to stay in control and that is rooted in fear rooted in threat prevention rooted in separateness when you fully begin to know in your heart that you are connected to all things and you are one with the infinite creator you can finally exhale and you can finally let go and you can finally live with true authenticity and divine confidence not something that can be manufactured not something that can be given to you not something that you can achieve through external accolades this message is so powerful right now I, I I couldn't even like get home to record it in a quiet location so I apologize if there's some background noise 
this is so powerful and you're not alone in this. It may feel like you're alone and this is what I, I'll probably wrap up on. It may feel like as if you're alone in this. And again, this is, an inten this is intentional by the divine because you're being called to rely on nothing but your faith. Nothing but the unseen divine forces that are orchestrating your life, that animate your being, your divine essence that is you and that is connected to all things. You're being divinely guided to be able to rely on that and only that. And that may, that may appear to you as the form of intuition. It may appear to you in the form of inspiration or insights or downloads, um, a knowing, a feeling within. But it's very, very important at this, at this time to release from the mind trying to figure this out. You're aware enough at this point on the journey to see when the mind is at play. Bring your awareness. Come back into the present moment. Be present. Be now. Be here. And see clearly that the mind is trying to dictate. And when it does, all it does is muddy things up, slow things down, and cause you frustration. See this. Allow this. Just see it. See it for what it is. And move into full surrender and faith with, the, with what you already know to be true in your heart that you are a divinely worthy being, you are a child of God, and you, you are worthy of having the best life has to offer. And anything that tells you you need to, sur you need to settle for lack or scarcity or uh, not being fulfilled or not being able to live your highest and most true expression is just a mental lie. It's just a lie. It's just the mind trying to keep you safe in your comfort zone or your conditioned way of, of being, or what society may uh, tell you is, is, is safe and logical and all these things, right? And so your mind is just trying to do that. But you're aware enough at this point to be able to see that and come home to yourself repeatedly. Come home to yourself. Come home. And the signs are there. The sinks are there. The pointings are there. Life is guiding you. Life is your best teacher. Because life is you and it's always reflecting back to you what it wants to experience and express through you. It's, it's reflecting back to you where you're not allowing that and it's moving you to allow it simultaneously. And it's the mind that wants to jump in to try to fill that gap and try to close that gap in order for there to feel some sense of fulfillment. And I'm telling you right now, the mind can't do that for you. This perceived gap only gets filled when you are able to fully surrender to your heart's knowing, when you're fully able to come home to yourself and the divine essence within you, fully, fully, fully embodying your divinity. There is no more room for fear-based decision-making. And there is no more room for settling for less than what your soul is calling you towards. So I hope this resonated with whoever it was meant to resonate. Um, I know it resonates with me. I am here on this journey with you. Things are shifting in my reality as well right now in such profound ways. And I am honored to be on this journey with you. If this resonated with you, and if you feel there's other Divine Feminines that may need to hear this message, please like it, please share it, please drop a comment and let me know if it resonated, because we rise together. And that was the message that came through this morning. As soon as I woke up, Divine Feminine Rising. I love you. I hope this resonates with you. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.